Gentlemen, this could very well lead to the end of the world of Warcraft. No! No! Hey, just keep paying for your boosts. And just keep paying for your mage runs. Just keep paying for your GDKPs. Just keep paying for your fake items and fake community interactions. Hey, if you, if you want to do that, and you think it's fun, sure. Go ahead. But for me, I think raiding with other people is fun. Is pay to win fun? And uh, Blind's answer to that is... Hey, some people tried pay to win once, and... You know what? We just didn't enjoy it. It is coming up on August 14th, and the Classic has not released its pre-patch date. We already know when the game's coming out. Like, we already know that um, Wrath Classic is being released on September 26th. But we're, we're at August 14th, about a month and a half away, and we still have no idea when the pre-patch is coming. Like, it's three weeks out until what their original pre-patch would have been of three weeks. We, we should definitely know within this time frame. And classic news, um, real quick, because I am actually playing classic more than I am playing retail. And I think that's the case with a lot of things. I think the numbers are showing right now that more people are playing classic than Shadowlands. That's why they're trying to make Dragonflight so good, because more people are playing their classic game than they're playing their, their current game. And hey, maybe it's because of that 50% XP buff. Or maybe it's because there's an awesome group called Blind who are going into the fresh servers in Wrath Classic and trying to make a stand against botting and make a stand against too many add-ons and make a stand to try and make WoW great again. Like, for reals. Like, there's an actual guild and a group trying to make WoW great again. And I'm part of it. The, the group is called Blind. And what they're trying to do is to still recreate those authentic um, like Blizzard moments that we had with communities and less buying gold reliant, you know, less automation, more player reliant, you know. And I think that's a good thing. That's why I am part of it and I am going to be joining Blind in Wrath Classic once the pre-patch releases with the fresh servers. And I think their philosophy really is to make make wow great again um and their philosophy is to have more community interaction and less of the other drunk so i'm gonna be playing it uh i'll see if i can uh uh put some links down in the description for it but uh Asmongold did do a review of it he didn't like it very much uh because he thinks players want to be carried because they're playing a mean class? No. That's not what Blind is about. Blind is about... Um... It's like, hey, you know what? You can play any way you want, but if you feel like you didn't have fun min-maxing the game, maybe there's another playstyle out there that is more focused on fun that, hey, maybe you should give that a try. And that's what Blind is focusing on. More community-driven events. More community, you know, everything. You know, instead of following an add-on telling what to do and then getting a shiny item and then maybe not having, you know, a great feeling because you're not part of a community in your guild. You're just going into a raid. You're, you're listening to what the add-on says. You're not talking to anyone. Is that fun? You know, I don't know. 
you you answer that question for yourself. Are you having fun listening to a robot tell you what to do? Or do you want to join a real guild where it matters? What do you say, guys? You can just you can just hang outside in the sun all day tossing a ball around. Or you can sit at your computer and do something that matters. And have an actual guild leader telling what to what to do. And maybe failing in the process, learning the boss mechanics as a team, and devising your own strategies for beating the boss instead of instead of listening to a computer tell you what to do. Now, I don't know about how you guys feel about or the community feels, the internet community feels about DBM and mods and everything, but I have never used DBM in my entire life. I tried DBM like twice for like five minutes and I thought it was the most annoying thing. I was like, why, why wouldn't you just go into the raid and just learn the fights? Why, why, why not just go in the fight? So that's something I did personally. And now that there's a guild out there that's totally focused on that, Holy shit, I gotta get in on this. Like, I think what Blind is doing is really cool. Hey, if you're not about that, no problem. You, you know, you don't have to join Blind. I think Asmongold was, Asmongold's reaction to it was not positive, but it's not like this is something that anyone is forcing upon anyone else. We are our own guild. We are not infiltrating other guilds and telling other people that their way of playing is wrong. No, that's, that's not what we're doing. Blind is creating their own guild and their own community and trying to bring more of a classic feel back to the game instead of pay for your dungeon boost uh, so you can level your character, so you can pay for a GDKP, so you can pay for your gear, so that you can pay for your achievements, so, you, so now you have all the achievements that you bought and you paid for all with money and um, yeah sure so you have all the achievements and, and you're the best in the game cool who are you gonna show it off to did, did you make those with anyone did you make any lasting experiences with people is that is pay is paying to win fun is it I think that's the real question that this comes down to. Is pay to win fun? And uh, Blind's answer to that is... Hey, some people tried pay to win once and... You know what? We just didn't enjoy it. We paid to win and we paid to level faster and then we paid to get into the raid and then we paid for the GDKPs and then we paid for the item drops and then you know we paid for everything it's like oh now I have all this stuff now what now you can raid and then try and get into a guild it's like okay I got all my gear oh well we're on the next patch and then you have no friends in the guild because you paid for everything instead of trying to have player interactions with people you you just paid for everything and skipped it all you skipped the part where you you know make friends and have community interactions blind wants to bring those community interactions back that's it you know nothing super complicated blind just wants those community interactions back and I'm super pumped about it. I'm happy to put, be part of it. I heard my music going off, so I know that I took way too long talking about it. But let me let me listen to everything that I talked about. Um, I'll include a link to Blind if anyone's interested in more community-driven events and play style. I encourage people to join Blind. Check it out. You know, just check it out and see what it's about hey if you like it great if you don't hey just keep paying for your boosts and ju just keep paying for your mage runs just keep paying for your gdkps just keep paying for your fake items and fake community interactions hey if you, if you want to do that 
and you think it's fun, sure, go ahead. But for me, I think raiding with other people is fun. I play because I think playing with other people is fun. Not because listening to a computer telling me what to do is fun. I think there's a major difference there, and I think I challenge people a little bit to question that. Hey, if you're happy with it, great. But uh, if you're not having fun with the game, maybe give Blind a shot. Anyway, that's all I had to say about Classic. This has been Rose. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't he?